Sassy Peeps and welcome back to my channel. So two quick things. One, um, if you see my background, it looks ugly. I'm moving. So yeah, also it's really hot in here, so hopefully I don't have to turn on the fan because you know in Texas it's like 8,000 degrees. But today we're here to cook because here's the thing, I'm a little hungry. It is 1 p.m. so it's not quite dinner time yet, but I figured we would make some dinner that I won't even be able to eat. We are making cowboy steak with baked potato and broccoli. Here's the thing, I love cowboys, I love steak, I love baked potatoes and I love broccoli and there's also hair going in my eyeball. So this should be fun because I feel like I can make this in my sleep. First thing I did was I put all of our ingredients out on the counter because this makes things a whole lot easier. So we have our steak, 220 grams. I have some sunflower oil, olive oil, potatoes, broccoli, which it only said 100 grams. That's two pieces of broccoli. You know, I could eat an entire like bag of broccoli to myself. So I I don't know why we're just making two. To take the steak and season with six grams of salt, six grams of cayenne pepper, and six grams of white powder pepper. Uh, we can do that, that's super easy. Like, I've done that before. So first we're gonna take the six grams of salt. Oh, um, hold on, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. That was really uneven. Uh, we also needed um, white pepper. six grams of white pepper we got one two three four five six ooh see this is going so well guys I'm not messing any I'm not messing anything up like this is gonna go really well and the food is gonna be delicious I just know it and also six grams of cayenne pepper which I have over here um it's right here so now we have to grill for 70 seconds on each side um, okay, and we are gonna have to transfer this to a plate, so I'm gonna go ahead and find one here. Um, let's do, there's like a big, okay, there's like a big one back here, but it's not even letting me grab it, so that's really awesome. Uh, we'll just ignore it. So we're just gonna ignore that, and, um... Yeah, um, okay, so 70 seconds. We do have a little timer here, so I never actually used this before. Let's go ahead and use this burner right here. Let's grab our steak with our hands that we definitely washed. I totally washed these hands, of course. We're gonna put that on there and we're gonna turn this on for 70 seconds. Okay. Close enough, y'all. And I also have a spatula in case we have to flip it, you know. Can we, like, flip it? No, we can't. Okay, what? Oh, you can flip it. <gasps> it actually looks cooked. Wait, hold on. Okay, but now I can't even hear it. Now it's not even cooking. What, is, what on earth is going on? Okay, the timer's also gonna go off. Maybe I could like rotate it this way. There we go. Okay, so we're just gonna like cook it a little bit longer on this side and just hope for the best. What did I tell you guys? Everything was gonna go super well. Like, that looks perfect. That looks... I'm a genius, guys. Let's continue with our broccoli. We need to take 100 grams of broccoli, which is our two pieces, seasoned with salt and black pepper, um, eight grams. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab this here. And what did they say? Salt eight grams, um, so we can do that. That's not what I meant, oh my gosh. 
Is it just me or does that seem like a lot of salt for two pieces of broccoli? Like, I don't know about you guys, but I can just eat broccoli plain. I can eat it totally plain. Six milliliters of olive oil. Okay, I think I have that over here too, right? Yes. Six, they said. Okay, so I'm just... Slight problem. Um... Well, I mean, if someone came in the kitchen, like, trying to rob you of your vegetables or something, you have a weapon. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna, like, ignore that and not clean that up. Because, like, who has time? Is there even a broom? I don't think there is. And if there's not a broom, that just means I'm not supposed to clean it up. So, just like that. We're just gonna leave that on the floor, too. Um, oh, there's... Here's what we'll do. There. I mean, the glass is still there, but at least the spill is gone, so you won't, like, slip. You know, you might step on the broken glass, but that's okay. So we need olive oil, but here's the thing. Um, I think that was the only one we had. Yeah, we're just gonna stick with our plain, uh, broccoli here. I think that's good enough. Um, so we have to grill for 100 seconds. Um, that's a long time. I'm not even gonna bother timing that, because I don't feel like it. Has it been a hundred seconds? I don't even know. I mean, this looks good enough to me. I mean, it's just, you're just warming it up. Do we just, should we just let it finish? Maybe we should just, or is it gonna turn like burnt? I mean, it looks cooked. It looks fine to me. Oh wait, we have to cut it. But here's the thing, yeah, like our cutting board was touching raw meat, and you know, it's like food safety 101 that you don't do that. Like you don't cross-contaminate things, but um, we're just gonna do it anyways because I do not feel like watching that. Cut them into pieces and halves, okay? Why? Why, why are, literally, why are we doing that? I don't understand. Um, just eat the broccoli whole. Like, why are we cutting it? That doesn't make any sense. I can't, ew. That looks disgusting. That looks moldy. I guess we have to wait for that to cool down because that's gonna bother me though. Let me try to fix it. There, that's so much better. Okay, now we have to take our 300 grams of potatoes and season with salt, black pepper. Um, let's do that first, salt and black pepper. So I have our two potatoes here, four, five, six, and then it was black pepper, I think. Cool. That was super easy. This is going really well, guys. I'm, I mean, we did break some things, but like it didn't affect the food, so it doesn't even matter. Six, wait, nine, twelve. Okay, that's enough. That's all we need. All right, so we have that. So now let's go ahead and add to a baking tray. Where's the baking tray? I literally have no idea where that is. That's not a baking tray. That's a grill pan. What the heck was that? That was scary. I know you guys heard that. Um, oh, this is a baking tray. Cool. Wait, so what are the, this is like the oven? Cool, that's nice. I said cool twice in one sentence. That's embarrassing. We close that and then we have to set, whoa. Okay, it didn't let me pick like how long or anything. Like normally in the game, there's like the ovens where you can change the temp and all that stuff, but it's literally not even letting me do that. Let's go ahead and separate the scallion. I have no idea how you separate scallion, uh, but we're gonna wing it. Okay. What's happening? I don't get it. Um, I did that. Okay, let's check on the potatoes, make sure they're not burnt. Um, okay, those are not done. Those are not done at all. They still look raw. Um, all right, cut scallion leaves 20 grams into pieces. 
How do you do scallion leaves? Oh, those are scallion leaves. It's literally not even separating. Okay, now it is. Okay, it's not gonna let me cut that any smaller than it already is. Okay, that was boring. Um, let's check on the potatoes. Whoa, okay, those might be done. Hold on, no, open, open the door, please. Those are extremely hot. They're also levitating off the tray. That's really cool. You know what we're gonna do with the scallion? Here's what we're gonna do. I don't even care anymore, like that's stupid. So I kinda need that cutting board, so let me grab that off the floor and not clean it because nobody has time for that when you're making dinner. This knife has been through a lot. You know, it's cut a lot of things. It's probably not even safe to use anymore, but that's fine. Who needs safety in the kitchen? Like, nobody. And let's just cut this into smaller pieces here just so it's not so ginormous. Guys, I have to say, We've been on a journey in this game. We've made a lot of things. And um, even though my food that I make in this game is always amazing, um, you know, there's something about this dish that just brings a tear to my eye. Makes me emotional, makes me feel something. Makes me feel really good. The broccoli looks a little problematic, but you know, everything else about it looks edible. It looks like you wouldn't get a disease from eating it. Um, it looks like you would get enjoyment. It looks tasty, except that broccoli. You know, everything just looks good, except the broccoli, you know? So I'm proud of myself. And I think you guys should be proud of me um, because this is amazing. This should go in an award book somewhere. I think Gordon Ramsay should come here and like try this food and congratulate me because that's how good it looks. You know, definitely, looks like something I would totally eat. Um, but you know what? Um, there's something that we have to do in every cooking simulator video, because I think it's really important. I got an achievement from that. Um, break 10 plates. We need to break like 50 more. Um, okay, so let's, um, digest everything that just happened so we put the gas tank on the stove and it exploded not sure why it did that like that science i guess um so the plate broke um we have one piece of broccoli can i eat this because it honestly looks really good it's still too hot you can't pick up a tiny piece of broccoli because it's hot really anyways um a bunch of the potatoes and broccoli are on the floor also the stick Who is talking? Um, so the steak was over there, if you can recall from earlier. And somehow we got transferred all the way over here, but it still looks good. Like this looks, oh, the ceiling, um, hi. Um, it still looks amazing and I would definitely eat this. Like, oh my gosh, that looks so good. So thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this meal. Thanks. Um, if there's anything else that you would like me to make in this game, definitely let me know because I'm really good at cooking, as you can see. And um, yeah, it would just be really fun to destroy more menu item recipes things. Um, yeah, bye.